Welcome to this week's reef health update. So far this week in the marine park, we've had a vessel visiting coral reefs between Innisfail and Cairns, looking for evidence of coral bleaching. The results that we're getting back is that there is a variable amount of coral bleaching on these reefs, with it tending to be more prevalent in the more northern end of this region. All the information that we're getting through our aerial surveys and our in-water surveys will be consolidated and released within this summer reef snapshot. Over the coming week, we'll have a vessel visiting reefs within the Capricorn Bunker Group in the southern region of the marine park. They'll be looking at the impacts of tropical cyclone Alfred as it's passed to the south of the marine park and any damage that might have come from swells that are generated and impacting those reefs. Sea surface temperatures are remaining above average throughout the marine park, but are staying quite stable. We've got a slight variation in the far northern and the central regions, 0.1 of a degree up or down, but we're expecting that stable situation to continue through into April. It will remain above the long-term averages throughout that month, however. The Reef Authority works closely alongside the Reef Joint Field Management Program to understand what's happening in the water within our World Heritage Area. The key data sources that we also use come from academic institutions and other stakeholders, in particular information that we get through the Eye on the Reef app through people who are visiting the marine park. So if you're out on the water, we want to know where you've been and what you've seen and to let us know so that we know more about what's happening within the marine park and that we can manage it more effectively to maintain the resilience of the system. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next week.